ingredients. And since it's about a $20 basket, I have a lovely, give thanks, little tchotchke that you can uh, give to your hostess of your uh, uh, Thanksgiving, if you're lucky enough to be invited somewhere, or give it to yourself if you're the cook. <laughs> and uh, some other little cute uh, uh, wall hangings, some nice, delicious apple cider, very aromatic, and always some cutesy uh, kind of like tea towels or something like that. This one I think is more like a, a bathroom towel. Always nice for the season. One thing, I have an assistant who she now calls herself my creative design person. Uh, I used to try and get these things kind of just up here and I wasn't really sure. She always tucks them inside and makes them hang out the sun. Ooh, uh, ooh. And a lot of her signature baskets are like that. And then uh, some of my supplies I brought are my infamous sticky dots. And uh, when I was on the radio with Stephanie, she said, what's one of your favorite things that you use all the time? Can't live without my sticky dots. Okay, so they, and if you have gotten a basket before, who was it was just telling me, they were trying to get it apart and there, something was stuck. Was it, was it Jane? She was trying to tell me, couldn't get it apart. It's got sticky dots in it. <laughs> so anyway, so if this is my front, I am going to somehow scooch that in here. I practiced before, I'll tell you, <laughs> to make sure it fits. So that's my background, and I'll just kind of sticky dot it in a couple places. And then somebody was sitting here. Oh, and I said, if we have questions, Nicole gets to be my uh, uh, my Vanna White, so that, uh, <laughs> you know, call on somebody if they have a question, because I'm not looking at you. So, and then what to do next? I've got my, my drink mixes are the tallest thing, so they're going to go next. And I'll kind of fan them out. Then sticky dot, of course. And then kind of gently lay them in there. And I usually have it right in front of me, so I'm working backwards. But then after 30 years of teaching, you're used to doing a lot of things, upside down and backwards. <laughs> you read children's writing, you you know, you listen to them read and figure out you correct backwards upside down. <clears throat> so I've got my cute little sign. I want to put that next. Sure. Oh, on myself. Nicole. Uh, but how many baskets do you do a month? <sighs> Hundreds. Yeah, it's just, you know, and it depends on the season. Uh, summer's a little bit slow, and that's when we reorganize and do things, ordering and that kind of thing. Uh, so there'll be, you know, 100. But then during Christmas, we will probably have out almost 1,000. Because we've got all of our uh, property managers, our, uh, our corporations that are all just, it's amazing. You think money's kind of tight. Mm, in some circles, it is not. So we learned this. And then I've got cute little pumpkin candles. Marion, uh, who does all your shopping? You must Me. spend all of your time shopping for little stuff. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of the one-off kind of stuff I do personally. You know, I know when Tuesday morning has their sale. I know when Ross has their sales, all that kind of stuff. And I'm there. Um, sometimes when Tuesday morning has their half off of their clearance stuff, I go to every single Sometimes when we travel, I know exactly where the Tuesday mornings are, so it's amazing. John. I have a question. What's your lead time right now, Debbie, for order? Um, usually we say 24 hours. Really? But okay. um, it's probably more like 48 now because we've got so many. We're doing trade shows almost every other day this week and that kind of thing, so it's, uh, it adds up fast. And, of course, I never forget my self-promotion. Put two cards in the back because the theory is... You get you get keep one and give one to somebody else. So that always gets tucked in the back. And this is one of the toughest jobs I have is doing the cellophane. And I pre-cut it. So if you've ever watched me do this at the man, it's uh it's a sight. So stick that in the middle. And of course we have the pre-done ribbon that says the gift basket diva, the gift basket diva. Com, which hopefully will be up soon. It's getting worked on. And this and Steve is videotaping me for uh, a spot on there because they say video is a good uh, way to optimize. And a, a cute story I'll tell you is one time I was making baskets and I get all this fluff and poo-poo up here. And uh, 
my husband, who is the engineer and the machinist, goes, you got to cut some of that stuff off the top. You know, that's exactly what he would say. And uh, like, no, 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 no. I learned in design school that height equals value. Our eyes see a product this big. And so, oh, that must be worth a lot. <laughs> Do you shrink wrap, uh, shrink wrap after? Sometimes, yes. When I send them, especially when we ship, we shrink wrap. Um, we've got a couple manufacturing places. Now, this is when I'm all by myself and nobody is here to watch me. I... <laughs> My husband always helps me. Whenever he's around, I'm like, what do you think I do with the other 47 times when you're not standing here waiting to do that for me? Two minutes. Thank you. Perfect. Do a little tape. And, oh, if I had time, I would tell you. The green scotch tape, mm -mm -mm. we used to use purple and we thought that was God's best gift to us. And then we discovered the red that's even better. It's shiny like so thing. And this is a little bit big, so I'm going to put it all together in one. I've gotten to the point where I don't need very much tape at all. I might have to finish my bow. Looking for my wire. And you learn that 26 gauge is just too thin, thick. 18 is so we go for 22. We all have our favorite tools. So Let's see if I can do it in two minutes. Bob. You give um I do, and here's a sticker that goes on the bottom of it that says 20% off your next order if you give me the basket back and that kind of stuff. I always treat my B&I people well. I usually rarely ever do uh, delivery costs. Um, chamber, same way. I figure that's kind of for putting up with me, whatever. So. <laughs> I, I would suggest that you put in three cards. This week. There you go. Just, I mean, it hardly adds anything to your cost. But no, cards are very inexpensive, yeah, in comparison. Yeah. And then here's the cute part is I bring this up, <coughs> attach it to, that's my long dangly. And I have a, a new employee who's watching us carefully trying to figure this all out. So I'll do this while Ty's uh, doing his thing and there's our prize. Thank you.